Hello everybody. Today we have an exciting video. Um, Mifa, which is a sister brand to Model Ones, has sent me this for review. You get 18 pieces in here. You get a top and a base coat, as well as 16 colours. And all the bottles are 10 mils. So that's a pretty good size for a collection like this. Now, at the time... When I got it, this was twenty one ninety nine on Amazon. Um, and if you're in the UK, over £20 you get free delivery with Amazon. So for £22, that is a really, really, really good buy. So I'm going to open this, get this all out, and I'll be right back. So this is how it comes when you take it out of the box. There's your base coat and your top coat, and this is all your colours. Now, I haven't looked at these yet, so we're going to see the colours together. Um, again, I'll be right back. I'm going to take all these out. And we'll go on back. Right, my swatch sticks each take three different colours, so I'm going to do it in lots of three until I can't do it in threes anymore. Uh, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put music on. I'm not going to make you watch me swatch 16 colours in real time with me talking shite. So I'm going to put on some music now and shut up and get swatching. So these are the numbers I got. 1, 2, 5, 6, 8, 10... 11, 16, base coat, um, 17, 19, 20, 21, 23, 30, 31 and 32 and then the top coat. Now I swatched them all in number order so you should be able to work out what's what from that. I have to say I had really high expectations for these because I'm such a massive fan of Model 1s and I haven't been disappointed. They're definitely worth the buy. You also get these stickers. Now, I am one for putting stickers on the tops of my bottles. I have sheets of these wee ones um, that I usually use. But these ones come with their own. So, I will be using them. Um, you just paint them, cure them, put a wee bit of top coat on them, peel them off and put them on top of the bottle. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Um, so yeah, I will be using them. That's a really handy thing to add to a, a set of nail polishes. Well done, Mifa.
the swatches are done, I'm going to top coat them because I want to see what this top coat's like. Just like on the model ones, you get the wee tip thing telling you that you can get some customer support if you need it. Now they are swatched beautifully. I have some thoughts, but we'll get to that. But I just I'm just going to do the top coat on the first swatch stick for you to see what like the top coat is. That's if I could pick it up. It's nice and thick, but not... Let me tell if I wipe the brush off properly right enough. Okay, it's not rubber top coat thick, but it's not runny and watery, where you're maybe going to have to add three top coats to maybe if you've got stamping or um, foils or something, because sometimes I have to add three top coats if it's a runnier consistency. But this... I would still add two, even though it is that wee bit thicker, I would still add two top coats to protect any art that I'd done. But it's it's lovely, it self-levels really quite quick. Get off. Yeah, it's self-leveling really well. Sometimes with top coats you've got to like move the, the swatch stick or the nail about or turn your hand upside down to get it to level out to where you want. But no, this seems to be doing a good job on its own. I'm just going to get a couple of minutes so you can see. Let me zoom you in, actually. I should have done that ages ago. But See? No brush lines. It's self-leveled beautifully. Okay, so I'll cure this. I'm going to top coat the rest and then I'll be back with my thoughts. Right, we're back. We're top coated. We're shiny. Look at the gloss from that top coat. Okay guys, the thoughts, they're lovely, they're creamy, I'm hoping that the camera's picked it up when I've been swatching, but they're, they're creamy, a lot of these have only got one coat on them, just one, these have all got two, obviously, but I, I don't think they're intended to be colours if I'm honest, I think they're more likely to be toppers, like that would be gorgeous on top of that, and obviously that would be lovely on top of any of them, blah blah blah, this is quite a strange one. When I put the first coat on, I thought it was like a sheer black glitter. But then I put the second coat on and it looks like a goldy green. But certain lights, it goes back to looking like sheer black. So I don't know, but it is lovely. This, I'm not sure what's happened here. I've looked at them in different lights and they're identical. I can't see a difference. So I think maybe one of the bottles has been mislabeled and one of these should be a different colour. Um, This red, one coat... This is one coat, that's one coat, that is only one coat, that's one coat, and that's one coat. And the white is so good, I was tempted to leave it at one coat. I do have a slight problem with the white, but I think it's my fault rather than the polish. Um, it's wrinkled ever so slightly on the side there, I don't know if you can see it. Um, but ever so slightly, but I think it could be when I was doing my final swipe, you know, to get the excess off. I didn't really pay too much attention to it in there. So I think that's probably my fault rather than the gel because the black hasn't wrinkled at all. It's smooth. It's it's perfect. There's no wrinkling at all. And what else I wanted to say about the top coat is it's covered the glitters with just the one coat. Do you know how you usually get lumpy bumpiness? There isn't any. It's as smooth as this one that hasn't got chunky glitters and it's as smooth as this one that's no glitter at all. So that top coat is wonderful. So I do look forward to having more of these in my collection and I would definitely recommend this. I will link it below on Amazon for you. Um, definitely worth checking out, especially if you're a beginner and you're just trying to start building a basics collection. Um, obviously, as I say, the pinks... I, I don't know if there's been a mix-up somewhere because one's number five and one's number six. Um, maybe there's a difference and I'm just not seeing it. But to me, they look identical. So I don't know about that. Make up your own mind about that. But otherwise, they're gorgeous. I recommend them to everybody. Go and have a look and see what you think. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.